So how does GBV online affect women's daily lives? There are four main ways gender-based violence affects women's lives on a daily basis. One, emotional and psychological violence. Women can experience depression, fear, anxiety, self-censorship and nightmares. They can be susceptible to abusive relationships and exploitation. Continued emotional and psychological violence can lead to some women committing suicide. Second, economic harm. A woman can lose her job or not be offered a new one because of a scandal. This often happens if photos, video or personal information has been leaked online. Also, she can lose income if she works online and is forced to withdraw from that space because she's been repeatedly harassed or cyberstalked. Third, increased physical violence. A husband or intimate partner can physically abuse his partner and he can blackmail her into repeated rape and sexual servitude because he thinks she is immoral because of something she did, wore or said. Fourth, social isolation. A woman can be rejected by her family, friends and community or be forced to leave home when a story, photo or video of her sexual assault or rape is circulated online. These forms of violence are committed through information and communication technologies, or ICTs, and the violence happens online. But as we saw in Chapter 1, the impacts and harms of such acts extend to women and girls' offline lives as well. One of the most severe impacts is emotional and psychological violence. Here is what some women said about being subjected to violence online. Each of these quotes demonstrates some of the emotional and psychological impacts. Yes, I have been hesitant to use ICTs out of fear of a new digital aggression. I know that these virtual media were not designed to hurt women, that they are designed for communication, but the majority of men are using them to cause us harm. I currently don't use them because I'm afraid of what could happen to me again. I felt like I lost something perhaps my confidence. For one year, I did not talk to people. I felt there was nothing for me to say, so I did not talk. I got so depressed to the point where my employer actually forced me to go see a psychologist. I considered committing suicide because I figured that this will send the message that this wasn't a game. I was really frightened. I even thought my life might be in danger. I was scared that the video would bring shame on my parents, that our friend and neighbors would condemn my father for failing to raise me as a good girl. 